I'm going to do a video real quick before I go to work. Um, I wanted to talk about Ephesians chapter 6. It starts in verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lion skirt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, above all, on the armor of God thing, taking the shield of faith, the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. That's why I try to tell people that your faith, keeping your faith strong is so important. It's like block, you know, like all this evil that's coming our way, we block with our faith with our shield of our faith. And that's that's what this is saying, you know, above all, above all, your faith, your shield, your faith is your shield. And take on the helmet of salvation. Your helmet is what protects your your brain, you know, if you get your you get cut, you know, here or here, you're 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 done. You you're done. So that your your salvation is very important your helmet's very important which is which is the word of god the the word of god is your salvation oh wait oh wait the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit sorry the sword of the spirit sword of the spirit which is the word of god huh sword of the spirit which is the word of God. So the word of God has something to do with spirit. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. I'm just going to go ahead and stop there because that's all I really wanted to do. I wanted to go through the armor of God in each you know, the breastplate, the helmet, the shield, and how important our faith is, our shield, and how important our salvation is, our, our, our helmet. You know, um, and I also wanted to say real quick, us as believers, you know, Robin, Matthew, Matt, and Leslie, and the Pilgrim, and... I'm sure I'm missing somebody, but, you know, God brought us all together for a reason, you know, and I feel like, you know, we're all uniting together to ride with Jesus, you know, like, let's all come together, let's not worry about all the fiery darts and all the wickedness and all that, I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't be aware of it. But let's not be scared of it, you know, and even care about it because we have the full armor of God. We, we're reuniting right now more than, than I've ever seen in any church anywhere. Like, and, or that's just how I feel about it. And I feel like in the end of days, whether we're starting in the end of days or we're on the end of the end of the days, we're going to unite with Jesus. We're going to ride with him. And we're all going to unite together in this grand holy army. And we're going in with Jesus is going to take care of business. You know, so to all these other people out there that want to threaten us, you it's futile. It's futile. It's a, you're a defeated foe. You know, if you're threatening somebody, you're more foolish than anybody that I could call foolish. Because it's just, it's the lowest of the low to threaten anybody. I don't care your race, religion, beliefs, anything. I would never threaten anybody for their race, religion, or anything like that. You know, it's supposed to be about love, but, um... 
It's just, um, we, we need to, as believers, we need to not worry. I mean, yeah, I, I do worry about people sometimes, you know, I worry about their souls, but there are some people that they're just here. I mean, I hate to say it, but Satan's got his people too. And there's, there's no saving them. You know what I mean? Like there's no help for them. They've already chose their side. They've already chose their side and that's just it. They've chose their side and they're not going to change. Those are the people that are just going to perish because they're so freaking bullheaded that they won't listen to nobody because of this, because of this, or the church hurt me, or blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter what you went through in your life. There's no excuse. But the, the thing is, is there are those people out there that there's nothing you can do. And it used to sadden me so much. You know, and it still saddens me still to this day. People that are lo have lost souls. They don't even think they have a soul. And they're walking around. Like, what are you? Just a, a corpse walking around? I mean, because that's basically what you are if you don't think you have a soul. I mean, you know. But the long story short, you know, as believers, we need to come together and realize that we all hit and miss. I mean, yeah, we all have our own beliefs. We all, you know, and we all need to learn more. And we're all learning at our own, you know, we're all learning. And I think it's like that Crowder song says, you know, I think that when we get to heaven, we're going to laugh when we can see how easy it should be or something like that. And I just, I don't like seeing, I mean, I, I'm not saying I'm not willing to learn. I'm not saying that that's not a good thing, but I don't like seeing so much division. I think that we should come together together. You know, I think in the end, we're all going to come together too, you know, because Jesus knows our hearts. Jesus Yeshua or Yahua, or however you say it, knows us. He knows us in our heart. You know, and I think when we come together, it's going to be so glorious. When we come together and we get to see God, we get to see Yahua, we get to see him and we get to ride with him. I mean, I just say we're going to get to ride with him symbolically. I don't know. But wouldn't that be great? I mean, you can only imagine. That's a song you can only imagine. But wouldn't that be great? We put all our, our armor on. We put our white cleansed robe on and our armor on. And we ride out in the dust with Jesus. And we fight wickedness and evil. But we got to come together. We got to come together to fight the wickedness. We got to come together to get rid of evil. Not fight over and squabble and whine over all these little things, you know. It's about in here and uniting together as believers and, and being strong. Let's put on our full armor of God, fight the good fight. Love and peace.